Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In the last video, we touched upon a little concept called Schema on Read. In this video, we will explore more on what is Schema on Read. So, there are two ways in which you can store the data and access the data. The first one is the Schema on Write. The second one is the Schema on Read. So, traditional RDBMS systems use what is known as schema on write. So, what happens is that first you go ahead and create your schema, you go and create the tables, the schema within the tables and then you use ETL tools and UT ETL tools to basically pull the data and massage the data so that the incoming data fits into the tables and the schemas that you have already defined. The benefit is data quality. Of course, you, are, you may be getting any kind of data from your processing system. So, you're just making sure whatever data which is coming to my RDBMS system is of high quality by using those ETL tools. The second thing is to use schema on read. In schema on read, you really do not worry about how the data is coming. If the data is coming, well and fine, just take it and dump it, that's it. And when you're reading the data, you specify the schema, the way we specified in the uh, job that we had submitted. So the benefit, if you see, it defers the judgment of what data actually need. Okay? So it offers you more flexibility. And the data lake tools, or rather the Azure data lake analytics, uses what is known as schema on read. In the next video, we will talk about what are outputters uh, that we have seen in the last video. Thank you.